The next case is a 44-year-old woman who presented obesity with a BMI of 32. She has no other comorbidities and she's scheduled today for an endoscopic sleeve gastroplasty with overstitch full thickness suturing system. We shall join now Dr. Bokowski and Dr. Ibrahim for the procedure. We will do the endoscopic sleeve gastroplasty with the polar suturing system. Um, we are using a double um, uh, channel Olympus 160 series endoscope and uh, we have just placed the overtube and uh, of course we use insufflation with CO2 and you can see here we are well positioned, the pylorus is here in front and here we have um, the incisura on the angulus, so this is the site where uh, we will start and we will use 2.0 polypropylene uh, suture non-reabsorbable and the helix and Yusuf will help me with the helix. So as you know the, the first version which we Evo will use is only compatible with the, the double channel olymposcope but this new version is compatible with any normal gastroscope. So you can have, you can see here the first tip which is you have these two elastic bands you put it on, uh, on externally on any gastroscope and you have these two working channels uh, that goes up to the, to the handle uh, where you can use one of them uh, uh, for the grasping tool uh, and then you have other that, the same handle of the, of the older version. So the, the good news here that we can, we can now use the Apollo with any uh, device, with any scope. We so now we'll start suturing. I'll ask uh, Yusuf to open the helix. So this is the site where we usually start, okay? Uh, please do three rounds. Okay. I'm asking for three rounds uh, because um, with this device you can easily go um, on the other side of the stomach, in the outside organ. So I close now, push and pull the needle. I can also hug the scope. Now I have the needle back. Okay, unroll, please. No, no, sorry. Just like that, yeah. Okay. Now we are free, and the first suture has been placed, so I can place the second or from here or from the other side. I will decide to place it from here. I'm reloading, pushing the needle, opening, and since the stomach is pretty big, we'll place another one here. We are going down. Okay, go, three rows, one, two, three, okay. You see, I'm pulling back the scope. I'm not. I'm trying to be far from from the uh, from the gastric wall as far as possible. Some down, holding, taking back the needle, and you can unroll. Okay. Second stitch placed. Depends how big is the stomach. We can place uh, from three to. Um, five to six uh, rows of sutures. Okay, you can go here. One, two, three. Okay, and again. So Ivo, this suture uh, yeah. are conceived to be uh, transmural. Yes. And that's why you avoid the antrum. Of course, uh, we always avoid the antrum because um, the suturing of the gallbladder has been reported and adjacent organs. So we always need to be sure, we cannot be sure, but uh, the only way to stay far from anything that could be from the other side is to pull the gastric wall to us and uh, not doing more than three turns if not needed. Sometimes it is needed because the gastric wall can be very thick and um, this is why we avoid that. So now we are ready to, to close here. So now uh, I will press the blue button, needle fold down, uh, Mustafa will reload, and now we'll cinch. You see if it's, it's in placing the stitch it like this. in the cinching device. Okay, you just hold this, pull slowly, slowly. Okay, excellent. Go, go, continue, continue. And now um, the secret here is to pull 
only as much as needed and not to pull too much. So I hug the scope. I do this by myself. Left hand, I, I, I keep the, the stitches and with, with, the, with the right, I'm pushing the cinch. Okay, we are there. So I will slightly pull, pull back and I will show you what will happen. We are there. So now I exchange the hands. I'm keeping the cinch tightly and I'm pulling. So it is always useful to, to remove the CO2, but all the, the, the two channels are occupied. So it will know, not um, aspire everything. So you see, if I have placed the fifth one, it could be very tight. So I'm not pulling too much like in the um, gastric bypass revision procedures. It should be tight, but not uh, too tight. So please, he's going forward now with two hands. There should be, we should avoid the angle here. Okay, go. And it's done. So the first row has been placed. You can see here, and here is, is the tunnel. So we are proceeding. It's coming, yes. With the second row. So the shape that we will do is starting from here and ending up here and not going up on, on, um, on the posterior wall at this height at this height because in case of perforations or any problems it is easier for the surgeons to go there and repair it. Ivo or Mustafa, can you comment on uh, the result about uh, weight reduction we know uh, with yeah, this kind of technique? Have, um, so uh, Reem Sharaha, just in the last DW had showed her five years uh, follow-up of the patients uh, where she showed also 18% uh, uh, of total body weight loss after three years and uh, 45 to 50 percent of excess weight loss at five years yeah at five years yes so, so this is the was the, the i think this is the longest follow-up we have uh, till now this had been just showed last month in the ddw this is the fourth one so as we are approaching uh, the fundic area it's it's usually uh, bleeds but these are mucosal bleedings so we should usually not worry about it you see the tunnel can be seen nicely. We never close the fundus. We leave the antrum and the fundus free, which is contrary from surgical procedures, where if you um, don't remove the fundus, uh, you will not have results. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Very nice. Yeah. So here we can now we will do normal gastroscopy just to see how is this site here.